Last month was the hottest June on record in New Orleans, and keeping your body cool can be a challenge. Staying hydrated is an important part of your overall health, especially during the heat of the summer. Joining us this morning to give us some tips for increasing our water intake and avoiding dehydration is Dr. Brent Wallace from People's Health. Hi, Dr. Wallace. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. All right, first, let's start with what are the symptoms of dehydration? Sure, yeah, dehydration is, you know, a very serious problem, especially this time of year, and, and uh, it can lead to a lot of uh, more serious medical problems as well. So the things to look for if you're dehydrated, often you'll feel a little bit of fatigue or maybe some dizziness. Um, you can develop headaches or even muscle cramps, but if it becomes extremely severe, you can actually have a lot of confusion or irritability. So it can really present like a more serious medical problem. You know, if you're a healthy person, you move around frequently, you may think, you know, I'm not going to have a problem with dehydration or a heat stroke when it's very hot out. You know, I I'm fine just drinking a little bit of water, but this can affect anyone. It's not just the young kids and the elderly that we need to be worried about, right? Absolutely. You know, your your fluid balance in your body is critical to keep blood moving around and keeping everything functioning. Um, so really anyone can be affected. Older adults in particular, it's kind of interesting, they tend to have a lower total body water because they lose uh, muscle mass as they get older. So they may actually be chronically dehydrated and be hmm. more susceptible to heat in summertime. Interesting. All right, so how much water should we be drinking? Yeah, a good rule that I use in general is if you take your, your body weight and divide it by two, that's how many ounces you should drink per day. So if you were 150 pounds, you'd drink about 75 ounces a day at least. And, and keep in mind that a half gallon of water is only 64 ounces. So wow. to give you a little gauge. I mean, most people, I would think, probably don't drink that much water per day. And you're not seeing, you know, everybody get dehydrated. But even if you can try to get, you know, I don't guess half of that in, would that be okay? Yeah, really, that is kind of the bottom line that you should be aiming for is that, okay. you know, uh, um, uh, yeah, an ounce per half your weight. Um, anything below that, you could get dehydrated if you're exposed to heat or if you're um, being more active than usual. When you're talking about people who have to work outside, you know, roofers, people who are doing construction, jobs like that in this intense summer heat, do they need to take in even more water? Yeah, definitely. If you're losing a lot of water, especially through sweating, um, you need to increase that amount, usually by uh, twice as much uh, at the very least. So I always tell people, make sure that you're carrying around a reusable water bottle with you. Um, you want to make sure you're also eating fruits and vegetables. They, they're a great source of fluid and water. And then really try to avoid alcohol and caffeine. That's going to dehydrate you even more and increase your water requirements. Okay. Obviously, we know water is the best thing to drink, but what about a drink like Gatorade, you know, Powerade that have electrolytes in them? Are, is that beneficial for you? Yeah, it can be. Sports drinks are a great source of fluids, but keep in mind they also have a lot of sodium in them or salt, and then they could have sugar in them as well. So if you've got medical conditions, you want to talk to your doctor about that. Too much salt can be a problem. They're really good, though, if you are working outside and you've lost a lot of, um, a lot of fluid through sweating. They help to replace those electrolytes. Okay, and I guess a good thing to remember is don't just drink when you're thirsty. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's very important to drink throughout the day because you may actually become dehydrated. And when you get severely dehydrated, you may not even feel thirsty. So hmm. a little gauge you can use as well as if you're not going to the bathroom or if your urine looks darker than usual, you're probably dehydrated and need to drink more. Gotcha. All right. Well, Dr. Wallace, thank you for those helpful tips this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks, Meg. Have a great weekend. You too.